Last week, an Australian journalist's home was raided in response to a story published a year ago. And the Australian Broadcasting Corporation offices were raided in response to stories published two years ago. If this is the length of time it takes to investigate matters of grave national security, it's not making me feel any safer. This is against the backdrop of the Australian government ignoring Australian citizen Julian Assange, who is awaiting extradition from the UK to the USA. The trial of Witness K drags on. Witness K blew the whistle on Australia spying on East Timor for commercial gain. ATO whistleblower Richard Boyle awaits trial on charges that attract up to 160 years in prison, for we are young and free. How did we get here? In 2001, John Howard used reports surrounding asylum seeker votes, not all of them true, to kickstart a new era of national security legislation. Since then, dozens of laws have been passed in the name of national security. In 2001, the Office of the Independent National Security Legislation Monitor was established to ensure that this legislation was appropriate. This year, the Monitor was asked for the first time in its eight-year history to review some legislation. That was the assistance and access uh, laws which were passed late last year. So that was the first time in its eight year history that the office that was set up to do exactly that was asked to do that and um, that was after the legislation had already been passed. We have to ask why this legislation is being pushed through Parliament in a bipartisan manner and we have to demand answers before it becomes illegal to ask. Most of these laws have never been exercised, so they're not keeping us any safer. And in fact, some of them um, threaten our safety um, by invading our privacy and subjecting us to things like being held without charge. Now is the time for a charter of rights to enshrine our human rights and civil liberties in the Australian constitution. While we're at it, let's also enshrine an indigenous voice to parliament in our constitution. Let's also fix section 44 so that all Australians can seek to be elected to represent their community and let's become an Australian republic. Authorised by S. Manicum for the Science Party and more.